Welcome back to The Disco, FDA's Drug Information Soundcast in Clinical Oncology. First edition, brought to you by FDA's Division of Drug Information in partnership with FDA's Oncology Center of Excellence. Today, we'll provide a quick update on a recent FDA cancer drug approval. On February 9, 2023, the FDA approved a Starlimab, GXLY, brand name Gemperly, for adult patients with mismatch repair deficient recurrent or advanced endometrial cancer as determined by an FDA-approved test that has progressed on or following a prior platinum-containing regimen in any setting and are not candidates for curative surgery or radiation. In April 2021, the Starlimab GXLY received accelerated approval for adult patients with mismatch repair deficient recurrent or advanced endometrial cancer as determined by an FDA-approved test that has progressed on or following a prior platinum-containing regimen. Efficacy for the regular approval was evaluated in Garnet, a multi-center, multi-cohort, open-label trial conducted in patients with advanced solid tumors. The efficacy population consisted of a cohort of 141 patients with mismatch repair deficient recurrent or advanced endometrial cancer who had progressed on or after a platinum-containing regimen. Patients treated with prior PD-1, PD-L1 blocking antibodies other immune checkpoint inhibitors, or had autoimmune diseases requiring systemic immunosuppressant agents within two years, were excluded. The major efficacy outcome measures were overall response rate and duration of response, as assessed by Blinded Independent Central Review, according to Resist version 1.1. Confirmed overall response rate was 45.4%, with a 15.6% complete response rate and a 29.8% partial response rate. Median duration of response was not reached, with 85.9% of patients having durations of more than 12 months and 54.7% of patients having durations of more than 24 months. The most common adverse reactions occurring in more than 20% of patients were fatigue, asthenia, anemia, rash, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, and vomiting. Immune-mediated adverse reactions can occur, including pneumonitis, colitis, hepatitis, endocrinopathies, nephritis with renal dysfunction, and skin adverse reactions. This review used the assessment aid, a voluntary submission from the applicant to facilitate the FDA's assessment. The FDA approved this application one month ahead of the FDA goal date. Full prescribing information for these approvals can be found at fda.gov slash drugs at FDA. Healthcare professionals should report serious adverse events to FDA's MedWatch reporting program at fda.gov slash medwatch. Follow the Division of Drug Information on Twitter at FDA Drug Info and the Oncology Center of Excellence at FDA Oncology. Send your feedback to fdaoncology at fda.hhs.gov. Thanks for tuning into the Disco First Edition. 